If you're looking for an extraordinary place to take a day trip from Paris, Mont Saint-Michel in Normandy is a place to go. This is a thousand year old fortress cut off from the mainland by the world's biggest and fastest tidal swing. And tonight, we're gonna sleep right here on this enchanted island. And then we'll stop in the charming seaside artist village of Enfleur. Allez, on y va. I am so ready. That's where we're going, right there. Where? Right there, over the hill and around, well, across the bay. Are we gonna walk or how are we getting there? When you get here, you can't park. You can't drive on the island. So we're gonna take a shuttle bus from the parking lot. Let's go. Let's do it. And since we're not just here for a day trip, we're actually sleeping on the island. We had to bring our luggage on the shuttle. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, let's go. You ready? I am so ready. Come on. Adi, Oniva. I want to go walking out here. I don't know how brave I am with bare feet. I brought my mucky shoes. All the screaming kids out here with their toes in the mushy sand. All right, darling, before we go into this uh, joyful mud, uh, we have to go and check in the hotel. And I think our hotel is right there. And uh, I'm also starving. Yeah, let's so. have lunch first, and then you can put your toes in the sand. Exactly. All right, okay. let's go. That's a nice room. Oh, look at that bay. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that bay. Oh, that is a view. That'll do. Yeah, <laughs> what a view. Let's go explore. <laughs> Magnifique. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I'm starving and we're gonna go eat lunch and we're gonna do that in a pretty famous spot, the Mer Poulard restaurant. They are famous for omelets, actually. She has a hundred year old recipe for omelets. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Merci. Oh, oh, oh. I want some of yours. Well, you can look at mine. No, don't, don't even think about it. I was expecting the omelet to have lamb, and it looks like lamb sauce on top, like a lamb gravy, but I was not expecting a side order with a piece of meat. We are not starving today. No. <laughs> oh my God. That is pure fluffiness. I mean, just look how fluffy this is. It is like eating air. I saw the size of that and I thought, man, we're in trouble. But it's like eating delicate air. So I got the, oh, look how fluffy this is. Mm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The two cheese omelet and they put some stuff on top of it. I'm gonna put some of it on my bite. Oh man, I've never eaten a omelet that's so delicate. I mean, they're not cheap omelets, but the way they're making them and the quality of it is like, wow. So now we're gonna go back down to the water and we're gonna go put our boots in the water instead of our toes. I may be an old lady, but I feel like a kid sometimes. Oh, I look like an old man. I'm a kid inside. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's why we play together well. You're gonna hate it within uh, <laughs> immediately. <laughs> I guarantee that. It looks really slippery. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. It's, you have tall boots. What are you afraid of? Well, the reason to do this, other than the fact that it's super cool that you can, oh my God, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shit. <laughs> Maybe this is a better idea than a reality. Oh God, I'm going for it. Yeah, I'm a little bit heavier than you. Oh shit. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh man, look at this. It's actually not too bad. What I was afraid of is that it was, oh man, there's some spot where it goes in. Yeah. Well, there's pocket, look, look, we... it's, look, it's a little, oops, it's a little heart-shaped puddle. 
Aww. Isn't that sweet? It's for you and me. Aww. Just there. <laughs> I've done some crazy things, but I like it. Yeah, it's perfect. I love it. I mean, am I in quicksand right now? <laughs> Look, Colleen, if you fall down, I want you to know that I will take you home. I'm going to laugh my ass off first, okay? It's La Frenchie's Mud Wrestling Edition. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, shit. shit! No! Shit, shit, shit. Shit. Well? Oh man. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> well, come to me because this is hard here where I am. I am trying to get my foot up. Oh shit, man. Oh, I'm stuck in the mud Don't now. Don't stand too. still. Keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. <laughs> what do we do? Oh, the dry part. So, this was. Walking in the bay at Mont Saint Michel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was an adventure. It's you an know how far we went. <laughs> we went there. <laughs> so what are we doing? We're going up on the ramparts to see the sunset. Yeah. It's romantic. The tower, the wind vane, the gargoyles, the bay, the sunset, the just everything. I love you. I love you too. We do cool stuff together. Yeah. Well, good morning. Good morning. So we're headed to the Abbey because yesterday, well, it wasn't too crowded because we were a bit off season, but still there was a bunch of people and we decided to be the first one at 9.30 a.m. so we could have the Abbey to ourselves. Yes. We did all this, <laughs> all those steps, and wow, and you know what? Once you get to that. You have steps going up to there. Exactly, you're halfway there. <laughs> and they're not little steps, they're big steps. I know, they are big steps. And just when you thought there was no more stairs, there are more stairs. Oh man. We made it to the top. No. Oh no. Are you serious? <laughs> oh wow, look. Yeah. And to think that whole section, yesterday was the mud where we were walking in our rubber boots. Oh yeah, exactly. So the reason why it actually rushes like that so fast is because it's so flat. From. Um, way over there to here there's barely any uh it's it, less than a 10 percent grade i think yeah no it's a very like small 7%. grade so once the water uh rises then it just rushes it in the wooden ceilings and that's just the wood and the stone and like all the elements coming together yeah it's remarkable check out that organ wow That's a Harry Potter room. Come here, look at my fireplaces. You can imagine the roaring fire in here. You know, I would not be at all surprised if the hall for the movie, a Harry Potter, was actually inspired from here. And there are two of them. <laughs> There's another one right here. I didn't expect it to be set that large. It's a massive compound. Oh, look oh, at wow. that. Look Is at that a this. mill? The Grand, La Grande Roue, the huge wheel. So when I first saw this, I thought it was a mill. Yeah. But this is actually uh, a wheel where they put prisoners and the prisoners would walk like hamsters. And this wheel is designed- You mean like the prisoners were inside the wheel? Yeah, you can see the foot spots and everything. And the, uh, the, this was used to bring food up the island to, uh, to the abbey to feed the monks. Yeah, well, they would pull it with the uh, with these sleighs here. That uh, look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. They would put that here and bring it up. And it would be the... attached to the rope. Yep, up from and the water rope level. Would be going down. Oh yeah, look at that. Yep, they would bring them up there. 
I was totally expecting an abbey. And like we're going from room to room to room to room and Well you were expecting an abbey with a chapel and like that, but yeah. see this was this was built as a major pilgrimage spot for the Benedictines to take up the island and then during the Hundred Years War all of this was taken over as a defensive spot. So this, you know, you have the fortresses all fortified around it from the time of the Hundred Acre Wood, uh, the Hundred Acre Woods, the Hundred Year Wars. <laughs> Let's go in the gardens. Nothing quite like a seaside garden. Then you just sit on a little bench. Yeah. And watch the sea. Little island over there. Yeah. That's I want to nice. sit with you and check out the view. I think it's a great place to just come and uh, unplug. Yeah. Yeah, if you need to. Uh, Get away from it all? Yeah. The seagulls are a big part of the story here. They're enormous, and it feels like they own the place, and we're visiting their island. Earlier, we saw from up top that the water was coming right in here. Right. So it has already, in the last hour, receded significantly. And now, en route to our next destination. This is Beauvron en Ange, and aside from being voted one of the most beautiful towns in France, it also happens to be a little place we visited in a previous video where I bought the infamous, fabulous bright red scarf. So that's not the, uh, that's not the original one, the one you're wearing? Oh no, I have many red scarves, but the one I love best, I had a little accident and we were visiting my son in his new apartment and I just casually took off my bag, my shoes and dropped it in the little cove by the front door, not thinking that our 19-year-old son had a lovely candle burning. Well, I torched it, so now I have a big pile of red ash, and I came back here to see if I could find another copy of my bright red scarf in a little shop over here. I don't see the red scarf, but they have lots of scarves, and it's closed. They may be closed for lunch. Let's go have lunch, and then we'll come back, and I'll bet you they'll be open. They left their stuff here. They're just okay. close for lunch. It's a special architecture that they have. This is all Norman architecture. Yeah, it's actually, they've redesigned the entire uh, village to bring it back to its original splendor because it had gone down. Oh, there's another restaurant right there. In any case, it's voted one of the top 100 village in France. And as you can see, it's, it's actually very small, but very quaint. Uh, smoked ham potatoes and creme fraiche. Oh boy, this is gonna be messy. It's falling. That's good. That's yummy. You're happy? Now you get, a, you get your red scarf and you'll be in paradise. And I got the fermiere. So I got a bite with some chicken, mushrooms, potatoes, cream sauce, and bacon. Is that a celebration of flavor? Oh, wow. Our crepe last night was decent. This is really good. Cheers. That's a great pit stop in Normandy. My favorite one. Oh my God, look at the little pieces of fresh apple in that sorbet. Yeah. Oh man, that is apple and it's a very it's a profound, I don't want to say strong, but it's a very profound apple flavor. So that's caramel. Caribbean. But now what's interesting is that immediately, I'm like, well, it looks like vanilla. I'm sure you didn't make a mistake. And it says, well, this is caramel. This is what it looks like if you don't put coloring in it. This is straight from the farm. Is it as ridiculously delicious as I wanted it to be? Yeah. I'm afraid you're gonna to want to steal my ice cream. Now, literally, it's worth coming to this village, to this restaurant to have this ice cream. This is it, everything, the cream, the milk, like this, this is fresh. <laughs> no. While his hands are busy. No, no, that's not oh. fair. Well, the question is, is the store open? You promised. <laughs> and if you break your promise. <laughs> oh man. 
No. Go, go, go. Go to it. They're not open, right? The lights aren't on. So they are closed and we called the number and they're not here. They're not open today. They're not open tomorrow. They're going to be open on Saturday. We won't be here on Saturday, but they'll be open more in season. But Antoine called and talked to them and she said, if you can send me a picture, then maybe she could ship us one. So I think we may be able to come up with a picture of me and that red scarf. So I'm disappointed, but I'm still hopeful. And last but not least, we finish our trip with one of France's most beautiful gems, en fleur. Now to go to Normandy and Mont Saint-Michel, there are four different ways to get there. The first one is to rent a car. I would rent a car in the Charles de Gaulle airport because it's kind of like you're going to avoid Paris and it's about a four and a half hour drive and then you're gonna to have to pay the tolls to get on the highway and we'll put the prices uh, for all that information. The second one is to book a tour, uh, a bus tour. It leaves at 7.15 in the morning. Uh, it goes to Mont Saint-Michel, it will drop you off, and then it brings you back at the end of the day, and then you arrive back in Paris at 9 p.m. That costs about 150 bucks. That's the marathon style if you want to do that. The third way is to hire a private guide or a private driver that can be your guide. They're going to take you from your hotel, drive you to Mont Saint-Michel, and uh, some of them will actually be your guide on the island and take you to one place or the other and then take you to the good restaurants. And uh, I'm going to put a link below to some of the ones that we recommend. And the fourth one is to take a train from Paris, and I believe it's Gare Saint-Lazare, to a train station which is Pont Torson. And from there, you're going to take a uh, shuttle that will take you all the way to the island. So these are the four options to get to Mont Saint-Michel. I'm going to put a link in the description uh, below. Just find the one that's a good fit for you. And there you go. That will do. <laughs> that will do. Now check out the uh, check out the steam uh, shower. We have a steam shower. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Private steam room with a bench. Yeah, that's a steam shower. The whole deal. There's a good-looking guy in the mirror over there. Okay. Oh, that's me. <laughs> All the coffee and mini bar stuff. Yeah. A big comfy bed. Check that out. Let's go visit the town now. Yeah, let's go see some shops and galleries and check out on floor. So that church is extraordinary. I hope it's open because it's um, made out of wood. Most churches are made out of stone in France. It is open. Come and check this out. The smell. <laughs> You smell the old wood. Yeah, it's really cool. I don't know how old it is. I know it's very old, but it's ex ex extraordinary. There's something very unique about it because there's not a lot of church in, made out of wood for the simple reason that, well, they burned down, uh, they were destroyed. You know, stone lasts long, longer than wood. But look at that. You can actually see at the top. It's, it's built by fishermen. They built boats, so that's the roof and you look at the roof and you're like, man, that's, that's the hull of a boat. Look at this alley. Doesn't it make you want to, I don't like alleys, but it looks like a cool alley. Well, I'm sure in the medieval ages, it's not a good thing, but since we're not, let's go. I think there's a store over here that I really like that sells the Calvados I want. All of the Calvados and, and stuff yeah, in here. Yeah, there you go. The Calvados de Sophie, with, uh, this is where they had DuPont Calvados too. They have good stuff in here. So we're buying some Calvados and we were in a DuPont distillery a couple of years ago and I don't remember which one so we're having a taste in Honfleur because it says, do you want to try? And I was like, <laughs> yes. So this is the, this is the 12 it's years of age Calvados. Oh yeah. Now what's interesting is the price, the 12 euros uh, is 
uh, 70, 70 euros. And the uh, hors d'âge, which is no age specific, is six to eight years, is 65. So if you just get this one, you're, well, you're spending five euros more and you get it 12 euros. This is definitely smoother. Yeah, that's definitely a lot smoother. And it has a, a good flavor too. Yeah, it's good, huh? Yeah. Uh, she just told us that uh, DuPont Calvados is stopping to 12 years old. They're going to 10 years now. So this is it. This is the end of the series. And I'm taking it because it's a great value. I mean, look at that, 70 bucks. On peut en, on peut en prendre deux, uh, deux bouteilles. Il uh, n'y a pas une limite au uh, nombre de bouteilles qu'on peut acheter? No limit Je prends. No limit <laughs> She says no limit and I think, I like businesswoman. There may be some drinking involved. <laughs> and it may not be a good idea to go to the absinthe bar tonight. <laughs> I really like Honfleur. It's fantastic little town. And of course, we couldn't leave Normandy without having their most typical dish, moule frites. Bon yes. Merci. <laughs> and that little bucket goes here. You start with one. This is French finger food. So you have to get one that's, oh, here's an empty one. Yeah, there's always an empty one. Okay. So you take an empty one and you pinch them out just like that. And you use the... You use the shell as the instrument. Right. You take your French fry yeah. and you dip it in the fresh herb mayonnaise. Mm. That's good. I love that. Mussels is a real poor men's uh, meal. Because you have more at the end when you're finished with eating your plate than you had when you started. This, the moule frite is, is a coastal dish. I know it's big in Holland, Belgium, all the northern part of France, and it goes all the way down uh, Normandy and Brittany, and probably all over the coast, but as, I, as you start to go in the south, you're gonna see that less and less. When you're a savage, this is how your shells look like. When you're calling. <laughs> this is what it looks like. You set them in like that. You're right in order. <laughs> So I was so disappointed when we were in Normandy and Beauvron en Arge because I wasn't able to get my scarf. The store was closed, but Antoine called and connected with the owner and look what arrived today. Is that the right scarf? All it's right. from Leon Bleu, so it has to be. Well, you know what we don't know is whether it's the exact same red scarf. Oh, that's true because we ordered it on conversation. So. Right, we assume it's the same. So let's open up and find out. <laughs> oh yeah, it this, looks is, promising. this is promising. Oh, look how lovely she did that. Oh yeah. It is the same. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so soft and so wispy and big. And oh yeah. One moment, please. So that was a fake scarf. This one was not the no, real thing. No, this one. No, that's an old thing that I bought. But oh yeah, look. Ah. Oh. That's exactly how you remembered it. It's so soft and yummy. That is my scarf. <laughs> I'm so happy. So what do you, how many, do you, I, you, I, you, we ordered five. So what are you going to do? You together? ordered me five? I did. I knew there was more than one. Well, I, thought I was that... figuring out since, <laughs> since we uh, lost uh, the original one, I wanted you to have a replacement. Were you going to do the, uh, with the other uh, five, uh, four scarves? Well, I'm going to keep at least one back up. Oh, yeah, one back up. But I think maybe, Maybe I'll have a contest and let a lucky viewer get a copy of my same scarf. What do you think? Well, I think it's a great idea. I think if you want it and you've been staying all the way until the end of the video to watch this, you should put a comment in the section whether you want to have Colleen's red scarf. Put a comment below and we'll pick somebody who's gonna get, here, a cute little bag with one of those yummy red Scarves. That's awesome. All right, we got your uh, your scarf back. Love you. I'm a happy girl. Yeah. If you like this video on Saint Michel and on Fleur, 
Next, I would watch this one on Normandy and the D-Day beaches or this one on Antibes in the French Riviera. <laughs>